I was never going to do this video, one, because I find them kind of boring, but two, because I, I I feel like my feelings would have been hurt. You know how people ask, like, how do you deal with the hate? Like, my answer to that is not good. I get my feelings hurt way too easily. So I have always strayed away from doing this. But if I'm being honest, you guys, all of the makeup launches have been extremely uninspiring and boring to me. Therefore, I feel like I haven't really known what to film. So I thought this would be a good time to post this video. And you know what? At the end of the day, it is kind of fun to get to know me. But I made sure you guys at least ask the juicy questions. Like, I'm realistic here. I know what you think when you watch me, okay? So I put out on my Instagram, tell me your assumptions about me and you guys I love you all you were being way too nice you were like I assume that you smell like cupcakes <laughs> or I assume that you're super hard working I assume that you're so nice like I had to post another story and I was like seriously like make it interesting you can hurt my feelings I shall not hold this against you I am I want this to be somewhat interesting because people make these videos and they read off the compliments. It seems like it's a video complimenting them. Like, no, I'm going to get to the stuff and the information that you guys actually like want to know. The juicy stuff. I don't know. It's kind of fun to confront that, right? I don't know. We'll see. I read through like a couple hours ago. I filmed this look, which will be coming very, very soon. If you're interested, I tried a bunch of new products and um, yeah, now let's get into it. I'm serving those that came first, <laughs> so no particular order. Okay, very first one. Great, great comment. You waste a lot of makeup. LOL, I love you, but holy sh... How the H-E double hoggy sticks do you get through it? And my answer to that is, if you want to think of it that way, yes, I do waste my makeup. Obviously, I don't get through it. I try to give away as much as I can, but if I'm being honest, I don't view it as a waste. I have 80,000 followers on YouTube and I am growing my Instagram and my TikTok platforms as well. On average, a YouTube video gets about 10,000 views. So every time I buy a product, every time I purchase a product, I am helping 10,000 people. So to me, that's not a waste. It's how I personally choose to run my channel. I look at makeup a little bit differently, but literally, yes. I waste a bunch of makeup. It does get thrown away, not completely used up, but I don't buy makeup to use it up completely. I buy makeup to help you make purchasing decisions, and I have a following of 80,000 plus people, so I don't find that to be a waste. This is another one that's good. You're not as okay with the move to Miami as you're pretending to be. So here, I, I got that actually a couple of times and someone was like, you're actually, you hate that you moved to Miami. You hate blah, blah, blah. Okay, like moving to Miami is not my first choice. <laughs> if I had not married my husband, I have never envisioned myself ever moving to Florida and never appealed to me. It's too hot for me. The life that I envisioned for myself before I married Jose was if I were to move I was going to move in like the DC metro area, Alexandria, Virginia, Bethesda, Maryland, that area if you're familiar with the DMV. I would move to those areas. Ended up marrying a person who is from another continent. He speaks Spanish and Jose never asked me to move to Florida. I just knew he would be happy there. His sister used to live in Miami so I knew that he loved it here and he knew that he loved it here and he would talk about how much he loved Florida and while we were living at home with my parents he really does not like the winters in Maryland it's much different than in Spain there's so much more sunlight and he was getting depressed it was affecting his emotions living basically in the dark in the winter if you're from Maryland you know what I mean he does not like the cold weather at all it makes him feel a little sick so one day, you know, I was just thinking about the fact that he moved across the world for me. He moved away from his family, and I was the one that suggested it. I said, you know what, why don't we move to Florida? So, you know, I feel as though I have the flexibility to move wherever we want because of my job. And while Florida wasn't my first choice, it suddenly went up on my list because I just knew that's where my husband would be the happiest. It, culturally, it would be where he felt the most comfortable. It would be a great place for his family to come visit visit because if you don't know Miami, pretty much everybody here speaks Spanish. His family doesn't really speak English. They would be much more comfortable visiting us here than they would be in Maryland. So it 
just made sense. We are a young couple. We have no children. We have the ability to move here. So, so no, Florida was not my first choice. I miss my family a lot, but I am happy to be here because of my husband. You know, I compromised and I don't have too much to complain about you guys. Honestly, I really do love Miami. I don't see it as a permanent home for myself, but the next few years while we are without kids or anything, financially independent, I think we are perfectly happy here. Yes, I, um, your assumption isn't wrong. I <laughs> didn't really want to move here that bad, but I am not pretending. I'm actually really, really excited to be here. This is my first time moving out. I'm making the best of the situation. And if you've ever been to Miami, I'm telling you, there is not much to complain about, especially this time of year. The weather is actually great. I live in the city area. There's so many areas for shopping, endless food, water, beach. It's not that bad. <laughs> it really isn't. I just miss my family and that's it. Yeah, the next one says you regret about moving from your parents' house. I don't at all. This is the next step that we needed to do. I'm an adult. I am married. So yeah, we wanted to move away for sure. I think once Jose and I decide to have kids, I will feel differently. And Jose, obviously, he's aware as well. He knows how I feel. We communicate about it. I'm only a few weeks in, so I can't say how I feel and if I'm going to be here forever. But I mean, Jose also agreed, like, if I ended up being absolutely miserable here and I miss my family so much, like, we would go back. <laughs> not an issue at all. Yeah, I don't regret it yet. I'm perfectly fine right now. Saying bye to my family was obviously hard, but I've definitely settled in. I feel more comfortable. I love, love, love the location that we live in. And like I said, I'm making the best of it. It's, it's not that bad. <laughs> Someone said, I thought you were using the privilege to not pay rent just to put that money into vanity, aka makeup. And so basically like I was living with my parents for free, so I was spending all that money on makeup. Um, I actually, I, I know it looks like I'm this crazy, crazy spend but I'm not. <laughs> I don't buy things for myself too often. I'm very responsible with my finances. And at this point, me buying makeup is an expense into my business. And compared to normal businesses like brick and mortar stores, companies that make things, I have very low expenses, I, especially now that I'm getting more PR and I pretty much know what you guys are going to like, know what you're going to want to see. So I'm very picky about what I buy. I don't buy anything makeup wise for leisure so much anymore. It's all for my makeup channel. And I think in the beginning of my channel, when I was living with my parents, I had just graduated college, I was putting a higher percentage of my money into buying makeup and I wasn't getting any return, but I was working a lot before I was making money from my YouTube channel. I was uh, a long-term sub, I think, when I first started YouTube. I was a high school coach for sports. I did youth programs on the weekend. I was a summer counselor in the summer. I had money coming in, but when I first started my channel, I was living with my parents. I didn't have that many bills. The older I got, the more bills I obtained. I was able by not paying rent, especially in these last couple of years, to save up a lot of money. I was not blowing all my money on makeup. It may look like it, it looks like a lot, but I assure you guys, I, my, I'm quite responsible with my money. I know it's hard to envision, but I truly am. I also don't think I articulated this well enough, but basically, yeah, I spend way more than the average person on makeup, but now that I know exactly what my audience likes, exactly what's going to do well, just through my years of experience, when I buy makeup, because I buy it and review it, I end up making more money. Like, the more reviews I do, the more makeup that I buy, the more money and income that I earn through AdSense and affiliate links. So yeah. Someone said you actually have twice as much makeup in your stash than you showed on your video. No, I've showed you guys everything that I have. That's part of like also my shtick. Like I have a lot of makeup to test. I want to show you every bit of makeup that I have. <laughs> so no, some of you guys are still being nice. I asked for you to be mean. Interesting, I had some people saying, you wanna have babies someday, and then some people saying, you don't want to have kids. Jose and I do want to have kids, not within the next couple of years or anything. Probably not until we start looking into buying a house, but I want like one or two. I don't want a lot, but I do want kids eventually. And again, not till I'm closer to my 30s. <laughs> this one kind of made me laugh. 
<laughs> I don't know why. I assume you got married to Jose to get the pa to get papers. This might take a little bit of an explanation if you don't understand the U.S. immigration system, but Jose was in the USA legally with papers. He was on a student visa. He was going to college here. Totally legal here. Then we met, fell in love. Obviously, we're in a very real relationship. This isn't a 90-day fiance scam, but it really was unfortunate timing. Jose had about one semester left when COVID happened. And if you don't know, COVID shut down the US borders for international travel. And obviously at the time of COVID, we had no clue when those international borders would open up, which the actual answer to that was well over a year and a half later, even longer than that. The borders opened up in November, just so you know. So <laughs> yeah the borders wouldn't open up for a really long time. In that point in time, it was like, we had no clue. So if he went back home after he graduated college, we didn't know when he would be able to come back. So I think in those last six months before he was gonna graduate and his student visa was no longer going to be valid, we had to have some serious conversations about what we were gonna do with our relationship. And obviously, we decided that we did not want him to go back to Spain and never be able to come back. We were planning on getting married anyways so and we knew with COVID the immigration process was taking even longer and longer everything was backed up so even if he went back to Spain and we started a different visa process where like the 90-day fiance rule where he could come back in because he would be on that 90-day fiance rule we didn't know how long that process would be because of how backed up immigration was so we decided that the best option for us was to start the marital visa process so that he could still be in the states while his papers were getting processed and at this time his papers are still being processed he's not allowed to leave the country right now so basically to answer your question did we get married sooner than we would have because of his immigration status yes but obviously we're in a real relationship we would have gotten married anyways but that's just how the immigration process worked i'm very very happy we got married we are in a very healthy happy relationship i regret nothing the only thing that's sad is we had to get married during covid we had a very 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 small extremely intimate ceremony and we were planning on having something in spain this summer like a bigger celebration true wedding celebration but unfortunately our immigration paper work is not done being processed so he is still not allowed to leave the country so we don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> so yeah that's how it worked out the next one your family is wealthy straight up i mean everybody's interpretation of wealth is different by the american standards my family is truly middle class we are not wealthy we are not upper class we are not upper middle class mm, you might suspect that because i'm into a lot of luxury and high-end things but i don't have that many <laughs> i really don't the luxury makeup is the cheapest that you can get when it comes to luxury and i am the only child so that also is a huge part of it you guys i'm spoiled i'm the only baby the next one kind of regarding to your wealthy that your parents have paid your way through your adult life. Like I said, I am the only child. I am very, very blessed that my parents have supported me in the way that they have. I am 100% paying for everything by myself right now. Mommy and daddy aren't helping me, but I would not have gotten to this position if it were not for my parents. As you know, I was living with them completely rent free, eating their food, not paying anything. I was paying my bills in the last couple of years, phone bill, all of that stuff. I Food that I ordered when I went out and shop or stuff, I paid for everything. <laughs> but in terms of living expenses, my parents paid for that. And because of that, I was able to save up to be able to afford to live in this place by myself and with my husband, of course. But they really, really did help me a lot when I graduated college and I had just started my YouTube channel. As you know, me and my mom would go halfsies on makeup and you know part of her motivation was to help my YouTube channel. She would agree to stuff that she didn't necessarily like to go halfsies on because she was supporting my makeup channel. My parents bought me my first camera for my YouTube channel as a gift because they knew I was interested in getting into it. It. you know my parents were always very supportive and are very supportive of my dreams and definitely I would not be where I am at without them helping me and they helped me just enough so that I am able to afford absolutely everything and more so I owe this to them for sure they definitely supported my dreams and you know helped provide 
for their baby so that I could live out what I wanted to do. You don't like most mega makeup influencers. Not really, uh, mostly because I feel like it's not my style of makeup and I look at makeup differently. You know, they look at makeup as, and this is so stupid, but I look so much deeper into a review and the how makeup works. And also I feel like a lot of these mega influencers, it's a little bit too dramatic for me personally, makeup style wise. While I do wear a lot of makeup and I do a lot of unwearable looks, I still try and make them pretty user friendly, pretty wearable, still kind of stick to the traditional rules of makeup. And I know there are no rules in makeup, but I went to makeup school. There are some rules that I follow and that I incorporate into the makeup that I do. So my looks are a lot softer and for me, I truly am passionate about makeup and I do feel like a lot of these mega influencers, it's more about the looks of it and getting these really intense looks and I don't know, looking extraordinarily more beautiful <laughs> than the average person, whereas me, I just like talking about the makeup. So it's different. I feel like it's I'm more casual. So I don't really watch too many large influencers. No, I like smaller people. You miss beauty community community drama. When it's with the big people, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I got sucked in. I haven't necessarily been missing it. I guess there's less to talk about. <laughs> when things were happening, I'll be like, oh mom, did you hear what happened with this person? So yeah, in some way that was some sort of entertainment for me, but I don't really care either way. This is a good one. You feel obligated to boost up Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath more just because of your loyalties. So I definitely, when Pat or Nat launch something, I know I'm gonna cover it. I know I'm gonna talk about it more so than other products because I have built such a large audience of Natasha and Pat fans. I am also one of those Nat and Pat fans, but I do have to sometimes tiptoe around the way that I speak about the products just because people get really upset that I don't like them, but you guys know, I'm always 100% honest if I love or don't like a product from either brand. I don't care to say that. However, I definitely put a little bit more emphasis on the excitement of a product because one, I truly am more excited, but because also you are looking to hear my thoughts. You want to know what I think. Maybe not you in particular, but a large percentage of my audience is genuinely curious of my thoughts on that product. So therefore, Natasha and Pat are first priority on my channel, if that makes sense. Someone said, you wear the pants in your relationship and he doesn't say a word. That's not true. My mom and I actually talked about that. I know people say that this is not true when people say this, but I swear, Jose and I are pretty even. Like I, one of us will wear the pants in certain aspects of the relationship and then the other one of us will wear the pants in a different aspect of the relationship. I don't even know, like when it comes to organizing things and take, getting things handled, I would say I wear the pants in that situation. I don't know, it's pretty even, honestly. <laughs> Seriously, you don't care how your nails look on camera. The shade, I very clearly don't, okay? Well, it's not that I don't, it's that I'm too lazy to care enough to get them done. I know my nails look like trash in all my videos except for today. No, you guys, one of my goals when I moved to Miami was to make sure that my nails were well kept. But the reason that I really struggle with getting my nails done though is Seriously, I'm not exaggerating. Nail polish does not last on my nails at all. I've gone to so many nail salons and they always tip within two to three days. I'm currently wearing gel polish. Gel polish only lasts a week before it starts to get stuck in my hair. My nails just don't hold onto product well and it's so expensive to get your nails done. And when I wear regular polish, it takes two to three days for it to get really chippy and ugly. And so that's why I just don't do anything because it's too much effort. But I've been going to the nail salon because I just decided that I need to now that I'm doing more TikToks and things that show my hands more. But yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I get gel now, so at least it lasts a week, but ugh, I hate it. I really don't care that much, but they were looking pretty bad on TikTok, so that's when I started to care a little more. You occasionally sleep with your makeup on? Never, ever, mm-mm. It's been years since I've slept with makeup on. <laughs> You're spoiled and pout when you don't get your way. I can. <laughs> I did get a couple like, you're spoiled, you're a spoiled brat. My parents definitely spoiled me growing up and I, I've had my moments, I'm not gonna lie. I have had my spoiled brats moments. I like to think that now that I've gotten older, I'm more responsible, I make my own money, I have my own responsibilities, I own a business. I like to think that I'm not as spoiled anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> at my true core, though, in the best way possible, seriously. Yes, I am spoiled. <laughs> I would be lying if I said that I wasn't. You'd never teach in the state of Florida because the education system here is a joke. I have no plans of teaching in Florida. I was very lucky to teach in Maryland, which is one of the best education systems in the country. Also, teachers are one of the better paid in that state. They pay you trash dirt in Florida, and I heard the education system is a mess. Uh, no. I really don't see that coming. You use filters on YouTube. I don't, but I do color correct just to make the colors a little bit brighter because colors very easily get washed out. But I don't use any like face, face smoothing filters. I just don't, for me, I don't see the points. It's not about looking beautiful. I show products and I need to show the integrity of the products. You started doing TikTok and Reels because you want to earn more money? Like, yes and no. I'm having so much fun creating the Reels and the TikToks. They are inspiring me. I have so many creative ideas. Things that I wouldn't necessarily post on YouTube, I'm able to post on TikTok and kind of broaden my audience and the products that I can talk about. It also gives me more reason to include more products to talk about. If you see my TikToks, you know what I mean. I'm able to go through my drawers more and get more use out of those products, not necessarily on my face, but just to be able to talk about them more and utilize them more on my socials. And obviously social media is my job. I make money through my job. So yes, I am trying to grow a larger following so that I can up my rates for more collaborations. And I have not made a cent on TikTok. However, if you're looking to grow and this is your business, you gotta be on TikTok. That's just what it is because you know what? One day YouTube might die and TikTok is where you have to be. So I have to make sure I am staying on top of that. That would be a very bad business decision for me if I didn't make a TikTok. Luckily, I have fun with it. Reels, I have made some money, but it doesn't even cover a portion of my rent. It's not that much. So if I'm not looking directly to make money from that content, however, it does help with my business and job overall and how much money I do earn, if that makes sense. So there is a money motivator there for sure in the long run, but like upfront, I'm not making anything really. <laughs> you were excited about being on on the PR list from ColourPop, but not anymore. <laughs> uh, that's kind of true. So I was so pumped when I got on ColourPop's PR, but honestly, it is a bit overwhelming and I am not complaining. I am so blessed, but you guys see how much ColourPop launches. And if you guys are exhausted just from seeing their constant Instagram posts, me having to constantly open everything and recycle everything and figure out what to do, with all these things that are taking up space, I want to be on the ColourPop PR list. I do, but I wish they would send out like a questionnaire, like, hey, do you want this? Yeah. Yes or no. It would be less waste and it would make the most sense. You hate drugstore makeup. I do not. I love all facets of makeup. High end, low end, affordable, luxury. It's just that my channel, I've grown an audience of luxury and high end people. So I'm more likely to post that stuff because that's what you guys are mostly interested in. And I spent more money on the product. So I want to get more use out of it. And I want to share my thoughts on it because it was more expensive and I like the packaging better, yes. But I'm not snooty to affordable or drugstore products. I still like them. I just happen to not talk about higher end and luxury products more because let's be honest, they're prettier to look at and I spent more money on them. Yeah. <laughs> the next one literally says you hate drugstore makeup because it doesn't make you feel bougie. Makeup is also an experience. I Like I said, packaging is huge for me. Jose doesn't want to work and moving was the push that he needed. No, he didn't get his work visa until recently. He was not able to work at all. And he was applying to places in Miami before we moved and nobody, it's hard to find a job right out of college, you know? He was having difficulties because most employers would be like, you need to live in Florida. For us to hire you so he was having a hard time in just being a college grad and by the time that his work visa had come it was the holiday season I did not want him to get a job because I wanted him to help me edit as you know the holiday season for social media and the beauty industry is huge it's where you make the most revenue it's where the most launches come out it's where I had the most partnerships we were moving anyways in a couple months Literally, it was only like two or three months before we moved that he got his work visa. So it was over the holiday season that he could work. And I wanted him to help me more since we were moving anyways. 
than I did for him to get like a part-time job before we moved. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Anyways, he does have a job now, so that's really great. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Someone said, you're rude and have no filter. Um, if you're talking about to other people, no, I, I have too much of a filter. I am very non-confrontational. I would never be rude to a person. To I would never be rude to a person. I am too scared. <laughs> So yeah, I I think I'm actually quite nice to people. <laughs> Only because because I'm just I'm so non-confrontational. I, I couldn't be rude to a person. I would I care too much about what other people think. It, it's actually kind of a flaw of mine. But when it comes to being rude and having no filter about a bad makeup product, when it comes to you guys, I don't hold back. Sometimes that makes people mad though, but <laughs> what do you want from me? I won't even like, if I order something wrong, like I won't even tell them that they gave me the wrong order. Okay, you guys, I am looking at the rest of the responses. I think I'm gonna stop there because this is getting long anyways. Who wants to listen to me talk for this much? But that was kind of fun. I, I mean, I know there's a lot of things naturally that you see that you would wonder about a person. So I thought it'd be fun to like talk about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to me, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I'm gonna head off to Nordstrom. I'm looking for some more like Miami clothes cause my wardrobe is not fin the style here. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.